Bucket update here on the 11th. I'd be lying to say that it isn't hard. It is hard, or it isn't hard, to um, keep conviction on these kind of days when these moves happen. Um, this basically hit the 1.61 fib at 393.17. I still think the most likely move is this is a B wave, but I'm watching to see if this makes a new high. And if it makes a new high, then I would consider um, this structure as potentially complete. So basically I'm saying if it goes A, B, and we get a C wave up here to supply, I think the whole move is complete. I don't think there would be a this down here and then another move higher like that. I don't think that would happen if we get all the way to supply and we, we complete this move higher right here. So I'm just kind of watching to see if that happens because that would mean that uh, my count was a little bit off in here and that would just mean that this was a third wave right here and we got a really far down fourth wave and then we get a fifth wave higher. That is less likely in my opinion because this still looks corrective. Um, I think my count was right, but we'll see. Um, if the count sticks, then we're looking for a move to just around probably like 385, 386 now. Looks like a normal flat instead of a, what would have been a zigzag. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, 385, 386, if it stops here. If it goes higher, then I'm considering it complete basically. Um, so we'll see what happens. On lower time frames, I can see, like if you look at this, if this ends up being a five wave move, then you're looking at it like, Because within this move, we have one, two, three, four, five. So this move might take a while. There's going to take this. This is a fourth wave. It might just take another hour or so, couple, 30 minutes, and then finally goes to new highs. Or we just start dropping. And if we start dropping, then we are starting the C wave down. So we'll watch it and see what happens. Tesla, same thing. Um, it broke the high which means that it could potentially be finished. But um, I think this is a very corrective structure as well. These moves are just kind of ridiculous as far as being a C wave, but this is definitely a corrective structure. I looked at it on lower time frames, corrective move here, very corrective. And then we just get a crazy move higher to like what it go to like the 3.61 fib, pretty much stuff you can't predict using fib so almost the 3.61 fib i drew a line right here to the 1.23 for an expanded flat if that's the case and that plays out then i'm looking for tesla to go down to probably 112 and probably not going to go all the way down here but 112 would be my target and then that would mean we'd be hit hitting probably 132 on the next move higher so it kind of depends on what happens over the next um next six hours but look spy is falling now we'll see if this is a fourth wave and it goes higher i would actually like that better because i don't want to wait for this to come all the way down here and then have it melt up for another couple of weeks i find it kind of boring i'm ready for the move down to start so we'll see what happens though let's hope we get a move higher and we can get this weak five wave move out of the way, or we'll see if it comes down here at 385, 386. Pretty much all I gotta say right now, I'll put out another video later. We'll see what happens. Uh, good luck trading.